Alrighty, welcome to another episode guys. Today I'll be showing how to replace the rear strut on your Nissan Maxima. Look at the original one here, completely done. I mean, I could even compress the uh, shock here. The lower coupling on the strut housing completely disintegrated. I mean, look at that, it sheared right off in fact. So uh, it was really time to replace the, the rear struts. Make sure you, you replace both sides, the left and the right when you do this job. It's a pretty easy job too, to be honest. There's three bolts to remove. The toughest one is the bottom one, that's a 17 millimeter. I'll show you two techniques to remove this guy. You can either use a breaker bar or you can use a wrench with a heavy hammer, something like a three pound hammer. Don't use a carpenter's hammer. That's not gonna do anything. You need something with more, uh, more weight to it. So a good three pound hammer will be perfectly fine. And that's about it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin. Now what I'm using here is the lug nut wrench that came with the vehicle. Then I'm just placing a piece of pipe over the wrench. This gives you a lot more leverage to loosen up the lug nuts. So if we look again toward the bottom, we have our 17 millimeter bolt. Okay, so just place the socket over it. Now what you could do, you can use of course PB Blaster, WD-40, whatever you want to use, and make sure it's on there. Sometimes you may want to tap the, the back of the socket to make sure it's really, really seated on there. And then again, I'm just going to attach my breaker bar and loosen up this guy. And there you go. The breaker bar just makes this job a lot easier. It really does. Now, if you don't happen to have a breaker bar, get yourself a wrench, a socket, whatever you have. Excuse me, a ratchet and a socket. And just get yourself a, again, this happens to be a three pound sledge or a three pound hammer. And just, you can also use this technique. This does work. So either the breaker bar or you can use, again, make sure it's a, it's a heavy hammer. Your normal carpenter's hammer won't do anything. You need something heavy. Now on the back of the trunk, you have two, in this case, 12 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. And these really aren't too tight and they're easy enough to do. This guy you're not going to touch, just leave it alone. You're just going to remove these two bolts. Okie doke. And then the entire assembly just comes right out of the vehicle. So here's our old strut or what's left of it here. And here we have our new strut assembly. This happens to be a Monroe complete unit. I kind of like the complete units because you don't have to transfer the spring over. It's all one unit, as you can see, and ready to go. So it just makes the job a lot easier. Now one thing to note with the new strut, you have a gasket that you need to remove from the old strut. Just make sure you transfer it to the new one, and then we can just reinstall this right back into the vehicle. Now to reinstall the strut, I'm going to begin by just feeding the top of the strut back into the vehicle. Okay. Now one quick little tip, if you are doing this on your own as I am, what you can do is feed the top of the strut through the vehicle, through the opening, you get yourself a floor jack, and this will be your helping hand. You can use the floor jack to just hold the strut in place so you can go into the trunk and reapply the top bolts. Now if you do want to use a torque wrench for this vehicle, it calls only for 12 to 14 foot pounds. And this bottom bolt needs to be tightened to uh, between 72 and 87 foot pounds. So I'm going to tighten it to 85 foot-pounds and I'm going to use this torque wrench to do that. 